I am not free. The children are here with us. And um, they're swimming downstairs with my mom. But I'm taking this chance to, you know, make some entertainment. <sighs> some stuff arrived in my house ever since I left. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Um, so this thing for the Polaroid camera, remember how I said I also ordered a, um, a transparent case? Well, it's here! Let's unbox it. I got the rainbow strap, of course. It's very cool. I love it. It's a bit thicker than this one. See? I'm going to try it out on the camera today. Open. I'm going to take the camera out of here. Maybe that one I'll like more. I don't like how this one is such a tight fit. I can see that I have six pictures left. I think I might like this one better. I did it. I put it on. I like how it looks and it, I don't have to put the string in the um, camera. I can put it on this little ear thing. I like that. I can see everything here. I can see that there's still film. I can see how many left. Um, and I don't need to open it. I think I, I will use this one like around my house or like when I buy the case. But I don't think it's a good idea to like take it places because I don't feel like the camera lens is protected. But this, this, yeah, this makes it heavier, which I like. Yeah. Let me adjust, adjust, adjust the strap so it's my size. Yeah. yeah, this is good. I like it. And the strap is like, it's nice and soft. Let me see. Take a picture of you. Yeah, I'm not going to take a picture of you because I don't want to waste the film. Okay. So that's it for the camera. So this year we don't really have a, a Christmas tree because we move around a lot and also the cats. Um, so I thought about making a Christmas tree for my family made out of, um, crochet! Crochet Christmas tree. Um, so I can kind of just put it on the wall. Because it's going to be flat and it's just going to be like a piece of string with a lot of ornaments. I think it's going to be cute though. You're going to watch me make that for a little bit. I think I'm going to put the link for everything that I've gotten down in the description below today even for the yarn so i got this bright red yarn this this yellow yarn and this this yarn i don't know if i'm gonna use this to make the ornaments i just found it really christmasy and i might use it just to make a sweater or something but i don't know i don't know yet because i think it's a good way to like break the pattern and also this teal green yarn, because I didn't want like green green, I wanted something prettier. So I got these three colors. I think they look really, really cute. And I'll put the, the pattern that I'm using for the crochet tree down below. Um, I'm using several patterns, not only one, because I want to have several different ornaments. Because I kind of wanted to wrap around, not wrap around, but I mean like go like, you know, zigzag. It's going to be a more abstract tree. Okay, I'm going to need about two of these. This is how long? How long is this? One meter fifty, so I'm going to need three meters. Okay, crochet time. Three meters. I think I'm going to make the three meter one first. I think I'm going to make it with this one, just so we can actually see it. I really like pulling through the middle because then the yarn doesn't roll, but also pulling through the middle kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, the color transition is quite nice. Look, like it's quite sim seamless. The, um, you can actually see the gradient. I'm gonna use a two millimeter hook. Let's go, three meters. This is all rayon. I, 
I realized that I really like working with rayon as opposed to other materials because it doesn't really fray and the yarn is light. Oh yeah, this is really nice. Like look how pretty the ombre is turning out to be. It's like really nice. Ooh, I'm really enjoying this. So let's see. Oh, oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, it's basically very long. You see, very long string. Ooh, I think I'm gonna join broke with this. I forgot the hook. Bye.